Hey what's going on everyone this is Ari Views back with another video and this time I will show you guys another 20 city tweaks that are compatible with iOS 11.3.1 the newest jailbreak for iOS and all of these tweaks can be downloaded for free from Cydia. So for any tweak that you need a repo, make sure you check out the description of the video. You will see there all the repos and everything else that you need. So let's get started with the tweaks. But before I start, I just want to ask you guys, if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel as it helps out a lot and also leave a like on this video. So let's get started. AV lock. This is a very useful tweak for the stock video player of iOS. So when you're watching a video, you might have your orientation lock on and you cannot watch it on landscape mode. This tweak will add this little button right here that allows us to turn on or off the orientation lock. So it's very useful, very convenient to have it right there on the controls of your video player. Crowdance is pretty dope. One of my favorite tweaks. It will replace the breadcrumbs that you that we get here on the browser when you go to the browser from an app you will get here like for example this time i have gone from twitter to, to safari and i get here the twitter icon normally i would have there just a text twitter saying twitter but with this tweak installed just a little icon of the app sleepy time is a tweak for the stock clock app of ios what it does is that it adds the time right here under your alarms the time which shows how much time is left until the alarm goes off so you know exactly how much time you have left to sleep full folder 11 will bring the full screen mode to your folders as you can see right here this looks pretty pretty awesome let's go to the settings of this tweak and see what we have here so you can change the position of the folder title and then you can also enable auto close folder so when you open an app you go back from you go from out of the app it will take you to your home screen not to the folder and then you have different styles here for the folder and you can also hide the folder labels right here and then here you can change the layout of the icons on that folder so as you can see here you have a lot of layouts to choose from then HTML allows you to have widgets on the lock screen as well as home screen of your device. You can see the widget right here, it looks pretty dope. Going to the settings of this tweak, here we have two sections. So you have the lock screen and you have the home screen right here. So you enable the widgets right here. When you go here to background widgets, here you can add a widget and you will see here a list of all the widgets that you have installed on your device. So just click on one of them to enable it, it will show you this like UI right here, you can drag it and place it anywhere you want. Then you have the settings here for the widget and you tap here to apply that to your home screen. Now to download widgets, what you need to do is go here to more widgets and it will show you a few repos where you can get widgets for this tweak. So you just go ahead and tap one of them, you can add it to Cydia and then go ahead and download these widgets for your device. Universal Mute. This is a pretty cool tweak. It allows it to mute all the sound that comes out of your device using the mute switch. So if you're watching a video or playing a game, everything with the sound, when you turn on the switch, it will mute completely your device. So you can see right here, when I turn on the switch, the device will be completely muted. Not just the ringer, everything, every sound on the device. Folder usage. This is a very useful tweak that shows you how much space the apps that you have within a folder are taking up on your device. So you can see I have a folder right here. All I have to do is just swipe up on that icon and it will show me this pop-up which shows a list of all the apps and how much space they are taking on my device. So you can see there the title of the folder where, where it shows the complete space that all these apps together are taking up on my device and then also the list of the apps. If you want to copy this result you can do it from here or you can just click OK to dismiss it. CC Clear Modules Background. This is a tweak for the control center. What it does is that it will remove the backgrounds from the toggles and will give your control center a very nice and simple and more clean look. As you can see it looks pretty awesome like this. If you jump to the settings of this tweak, what you will have here is an enable button where you can enable or disable this tweak. 
Magic Badges allows you to customize the look of the badges on your iOS 11.3.1 device. As you can see the badge right here, it looks just like a, a bookmark. It looks pretty awesome. So going to the settings of this tweak, you will have the settings right here and enable button right here where you can enable or disable the tweak. If you go to general, you will have here color. You can colorize it based on the icon color or you can set a custom color and right here also have the font and you have the badge type right here so if you go here you can see different kind of badges you can apply any one of these and replace the stock badge with any one of these date under time is a pretty cool tweak for the iphone 10 you have the time right here on the status bar on the left side but with this tweak installed you will also have the date right there under the time on the status bar it looks pretty awesome double tap lock allows to easily lock your device simply by double tapping anywhere on the screen so just double tap like that and your your device will go to sleep now this tweak is working here on my iphone 10 i don't know if that's a tweak just for the iphone 10 or other devices as well but i have tested it on my iphone 6 and it didn't work but it is working fine here on the iphone 10 so under the settings all we have here is an enable button and a respring button to install this tweak you will need a repo which of course can be found in the description marina this is a tweak for your dock it allows you to have more icons on your dock as well you can have the labels right here as you can see i have the labels on the dock which you cannot find on ios 11 go to the settings of this tweak and you will see here a few settings you have from five up to 11 the icons on the dock so you enable any one you want and you can have up to 11 icons on the dock of your device and lower here you have additional features this one right here is the one that allows you to show the labels on the icons on the dock adaptive color power this tweak will colorize the battery that you get the battery indicator that you get on the lock screen when you plug your device to charge will colorize it based on the color of your wallpaper so you can see right there it will colorize it it will have like a blue tint that's based on the color of the wallpaper so any wallpaper that you set on any color this tweak will make the battery get that color big green is a tweak that allows you to customize what you see here at the percentage of your battery so normally you will see the percentage but now you can see I have the million powers right there at the battery indicator so it's pretty awesome you enable it right here and then you have the low power display and charging arrow display you can customize them here so you can see right there and also if you go right here you have battery percentage format so right here you can change to different formats as you can see it will change here you can see there the words so 35 instead of the numbers let me just focus here okay so instead of the numbers you can have like 35 there it's pretty awesome so you have different formats here to choose from and make it look a little different blue music this is a simple tweak for the stock music app of ios as you can see right here it will make the text also the little icons right here all blue normally with with the stock music app on ios these are red with this tweak you can turn them blue no low power auto lock is a very useful tweak at least for me because i never use the auto lock feature on my devices so i can't really show it right now but you know when you turn on the low power mode on your device what it does is that it will automatically lock your device even if you have it turned off under settings this tweak will prevent that from happening placeholder this is a tweak for the settings app you can see all these yellow icons right here i have intentionally removed all the icons of the tweaks right here from the settings app just to show you this tweak so what it does is that it will add this icon to any of the tweaks that don't have their icon on the settings app you would see some of the tweaks have icons some don't have just the title this tweak will add these icons to all of them powerless is a simple tweak that will remove the sound and the vibration that you get when you plug in your device to charge so you plug in your device to charge there will be no sound also no vibration at all normally on ios you get a sound and a vibration when you plug in your device skinny settings is a tweak that allows you to customize the settings app as you can see right here the settings app now has great background and i have removed 
all the separators here between different cells. You can also remove the icons from the cells right here. You can see these yellow icons, these are from another tweak. So let's go back here. You have a bunch of options here to customize the settings app. As you can see, you can change the color of the separators, the, select the background color. Basically, every aspect of the settings app can be customized using skinny settings. Volbrate, this tweak will add a vibration when you turn up or down the volume of your device. So it will vibrate when you press the buttons. You can also go to the settings of this tweak and enable right here vibrate on max or on minimum. So it will only vibrate when you turn up all the way up the volume or all the down, all the way down. It won't vibrate on every step. You can also hide the volume hood and also use the Taptic Engine if, you, if your device has one, of course. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed all the tweaks and the video. Go ahead and leave a like on the video if you did. And also, if you haven't already, please make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel as it helps out a lot. So that's it for this video. I will see you guys on the next one.